So we're on our way to San Diego right now to swim with leopard sharks at La Jolla Shores. So between the months of June to September, the leopard sharks like to congregate in the La Jolla Shores because there's a nice sandy bottom to the uh, water right there and the water gets pretty warm. Um, so it helps incubate the eggs or the you know baby sharks um, for the mothers and it will actually progress the pregnancy um, by a couple of months. So, um, so instead of it being about 11 months, I think, uh, that leopard sharks will be pregnant for, it will cut it down um, to about eight months. Um, so it's just a way for them to quicken that whole process. Um, so they do that by rubbing their stomachs on the bottom of the sand in, in La Jolla. It's the warmest time of the year for La Jolla, so this is the best time for them to come do that. Right now we're stuck in traffic. It's taking us probably an hour and a half to get down here. It usually takes us like an hour. Uh, parking is not great in La Jolla either, but this is our first time together at least swimming with these sharks and I'm a little nervous. They're bottom feeders, so they can't bite you like a normal shark would. They have these little grinding teeth on the inside and they can't really bite onto things. But they can be way. like six feet long, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, they that's big. That's, that's, that's the biggest big. thing we've seen while snorkeling. So it'll be interesting. But again, it's very safe apparently to swim with them. Uh, La Jolla has these like kayak and snorkeling tours that they do. So I'm feeling okay. I looked up some videos on TikTok of people doing it. It seems really fine and safe. So I'm excited, a little nervous, but I'm excited. So we're here, we're just finding parking now, which might be a bit of a struggle. Uh, it looks like the marine layer has not quite burned off yet, so it's really cloudy, no sun in sight. Hopefully as the day goes on, it will break up a little bit. We'll get some blue sky, but right now I don't think that's gonna happen. shores right now and the water is a little cold at first touch but I think I'll get used to it we brought our spring suits so I think we could have done the full suit yeah today. it'll be a little cold at first or dare to talk to a guy who just came back out from the water and he saw some sharks around here so I think we're in a good spot hopefully the Sun breaks out a little bit but uh, we're enjoying the view of these cliffs and these cool houses yeah, we're gonna get the drone up first, get a couple of shots, see what we can see from above the water, and then we'll get into the water. So we found sharks. Uh, Derek has the drone out right now. They are, I'm not good with distance. How far out do you think they are from us? Like 20 um, feet, 50 feet? No, they're about like, about 40 yards in front of us. They're not far at all, uh, straight ahead of us. But there's a ton of people out there. There's people playing water polo, kayakers, um, other snorkelers. This is what we're gonna go into. The last time we were here, we were kayaking and it was also leopard shark breeding season. All right, so we're about to go snorkeling off of La Jolla Shores right now to go find some leopard sharks, right? Yeah. So, kind of show you where to go out and everything.
got out, we'll probably go back in. But we didn't see too many, but they were really cool when we did see them. Not scary at all. How did you like it? Yeah, we saw so we saw a few. Um, saw a lot of guitar fish out there. Stingrays. A lot of stingrays. So many stingrays. Um, Scared to calico like, bass. stand up. Yeah. Calico bass. Plus, um, the waves got pretty bad out there, but we will go back out. Swimming back now. The waves are kind of treacherous. Derek is a little bit further in than me. Overall, it was fun, but it's hard to get back. And there's so we just got back to the car wearing our ponchos. I stepped on a bat ray and we were walking across um, so we put our stuff on the shelf above a wall and the waves were hitting the wall. So I was bringing the bat rays in and we we're walking along the wall to get our stuff and I stepped on one and now we are finally back in the car and we'll be going home. We were out there for a really long time too just like fighting the waves especially at the end of our day there. So I feel like we got a good workout. We didn't see too many leopard sharks, but the few that we did see, that was pretty cool. Uh, there was an infestation of bat rays out there, um, especially towards the end. They started to move closer and closer to the beach. Um, I think if we went there really early in the morning, we might have had less, uh, I guess, choppy water, and we might have seen more. That's what I'm thinking. So we got there kind of late, like it was still in the morning, but it was like 11 or something. It's high tide, so it just, usually high tide for anything is not great. We're not seeing things, but yeah, just that surge. I think it's just the remnants of Hurricane Frank that's hitting us, so um, better try next time. But we got some cool drone footage of it. Thanks for watching with us, and we'll see you next week.